Hey guys, it's the Sun Sage, and I am back to do another pick a card reading for you guys. Um, as we enter this new month and we have these new energies, um, I wanted to see what's coming in for everybody for love. What's next in your love life? Um, this is for those of you who are in a connection, those of you who want a connection or who are wanting to know if there's someone coming in for you that you are going to have a bond with, a special twin flame soul partnership with. We're going to see. All right. So as you know how this goes, pick the deck and the crystal that resonates most with you. And um, I'm going to get started with group one. All right. So. All right. So group one. Oops. Let's see. Group one, you guys chose the mermaid tarot. And this is the pink calcite crystal crystal. <laughs> the pink house so you can take a look at that look it up and see what it means and why you may have been um drawn to that all right thank you guys so much for tuning in for subscribing to the channel liking the videos all right so let's get into it what's coming in for group one for love what's coming in for group one for love the star nice all right, what's coming in for group one for love? The Six of Swords. We have the Devil. Uh, three of Wands. Some of you could be calling in a Capricorn. Um, Ace of Cups. Nice. What else do we have for group one? What's coming in? Ace of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah, lots of earth energy here. Um, you guys could have a, yeah, Six of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy person coming in. Um, Hierophant, Taurus. Okay, What's, what else is coming in? Ten of Wands, all right? So, you guys... I feel like it's about to get exciting for you guys. I feel like you have big expectations for your love life. I feel like you have big expectations with a particular person or a type of person. So I do feel like that's coming in. We're going to get started with the star. I feel like you guys are uh, definitely manifesting and calling in this special person. Um, this is about still having hope and believing, even though you've been um, through some rough situations, you feel restored, you feel a sense of renewal, and you're ready to get back out there for a lot of you. Look at how this looks. You're ready to get back out there. All right. The star, the six of swords. Some of you are like, if I want something to happen in my love life, I have to make it happen. If I want action, I have to take action. So that's the approach that a lot of you are taking. You are the person that is going to sort of take your love life, um, Make take some action, some substantive action in your love life. Like I said, a lot of you guys may be calling in a Capricorn with this double energy and other earth energy surrounding, but I also feel like you guys um, definitely could be heading into someone who gives good, like they have a good... Um, I feel like they 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 can be addictive, all right? So either you're going to represent that to this person or they're representing that to you. I feel like their personality is somewhat addictive. You guys may have a love of <laughs> money, all right? That's that may be something you and this person share, all right? I'm going to get to these energies, but there are lots of pentacle and earth energies here, so you guys may share a love of money. You guys may travel together. I feel like for some of you, it's going to be something sort of spontaneous that happens. You're manifesting something stable and someone fun and exciting comes in and you're like, oh, wait a minute. I have feelings for this person or I'm developing feelings for this person. So you have big expectations with whoever this is coming in. Let me get some energy on this star here. Aquarius energy. Some of you are Aquariuses. I do see that. And you're calling in an earth sign, two of swords. So you guys have definitely felt like you haven't been able to 
manifest what you want. Like whatever you've been doing hasn't been working, right? Whatever you have been um, manifesting, lighting your candles, prayers, you feel like it hasn't been working. But I do feel like it is working. Um, that two of swords tells us that you were stopped by the universe, but you still kept going. Magician at the bottom of the deck and calling this um, soulmate energy in. You didn't give up hope. You definitely didn't give up hope, even though you, like I said, have been through a lot. Three of Swords. I feel like what stopped you guys was a, um, I feel like you guys didn't want to, so this is head and heart, right? I feel like this Two of Swords represents your head and your heart, the conflict that can happen there when you know that you deserve something much better, but you may be a little fearful, three of swords to go for that because you don't want it to end up like other situations that have hurt you. So I feel like a lot of you guys were um, keeping yourselves from making any type of mistakes. This three of swords feels like you've been very hard on yourself for what you feel like you made a mistake. Some of you um, are not going back to an ex. Okay, so I do see that energy here. I feel like some of you have an Aquarius ex who broke your heart, who could be coming in this Mercury retrograde. You're moving away from that person. Right. They don't have to be an Aquarius, but they could definitely represent somebody you wanted a future with at one time, wanted a, a life with, saw yourself being with. But there was something about your connection that even if it didn't work out, it was destined to happen. Right. The star represents destiny. So let's see what's going on with this six of swords, because I feel like this is either you guys running right into a soulmate type person, getting over an ex that wasn't good for you or both. All right. What's the six of swords for group one? The Four of Cups. All right. So you guys are running into you. Well, you were running into some issues, right? There was a little bit of resistance. So a lot of you really, really, really want that ex or that person that wasn't necessarily good for you. That could represent that devil, that toxic energy. They give you sort of this negativity. They don't um, lift you up. They don't inspire you. And you still had hope in this connection. But, you know, I feel like with this Four of Cups, um, there's a sense you guys don't want to miss out on any opportunities, right? Some of you do want an ex back, somebody that hurt you. That three of swords and two of swords is five of swords energy. So that could represent like sabotage, self-sabotage, running back to someone who you know has the ability to hurt you. They could represent the devil being something that's not on your level. But I feel like with this six of swords, you've been trying to move away. Some of you didn't find what you were looking for outside of this person. All right, so you may find that you're like right back dealing with that person or dealing with somebody who's similar. All right, what's going on with this devil? Okay, wow. We have seven of swords, yep, ace of swords, and uh, ten of pentacles. So some of you became involved with somebody who already had a family. All right, that's not everybody's energy, but the devil is showing me that I feel like there was a toxic relationship here and it was mainly toxic because this other person, I mean, because this person had another person, um, right? Or they had another family. That three of swords can represent a third party. So some of you are still pining for your ex. I'm sorry if I said seven of swords. That's the five of swords that actually came out after I just was talking about the five of swords. So a lot of you are having a self-talk, right? Trying to tell yourself the truth self we need to move on from this person they're not good for us with this ace of swords keeping it real with yourself um speaking truth to yourself but you guys really 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 want are trying to manifest this family situation this solid stable relationship somebody that you can have a family of your own with right some of you I see the Hierophant, so I am going to say some of you have conformed in the sense that you have accepted that your person is married or may not get a divorce or separate from their partner anytime soon. So you are going to try to make it work with this Ten of Pentacles, right? You're going to try to be a valuable member of their life, even though they may have another situation. So what could be coming in for you guys is somebody who has a lot of baggage or somebody that you 
experienced a lot of hurt and pain from in the past, but they're coming back or you guys are coming back to, together and you're accepting something. All right. That won't be everyone's story. You won't be accepting, you know, everybody's not going to um, be in that position, but I do feel like you guys are um, either of those, any of those situations. You guys have big expectations for your love life. Some of you feel like you want to be more patient, right? The three of wands can represent patience and waiting for your ships to come in. You've already put in the work. You've already manifested. You're, you're still working on yourself, right? That Ace of Cups is letting me know, especially with this Ace of Pentacles showing up afterwards, you guys do have some blessings coming in. Um, some of you did move away from somebody who has major third-party energy vibes. Okay, possibly an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Let's see what this three of wands is because this feels like excitement and expectation to me, especially with that ace of cups, um, the four of pentacles, right? So I feel like you guys have been saving. Um, some of you are saving to have a special vacation. A vacation could be coming in for a lot of you, especially during the summer months. You could find yourself on an island, somewhere tropical, um, that's actually where you might have uh, experience this new romance, okay? So for some of you, this is letting you know that travel could be good for you. You could meet somebody with money, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Um, you could be meeting someone who is a soulmate for you. What's this uh, Ace of Cups? Yep, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are meeting a soulmate. Okay, so a lot of you guys had sort of, um, I feel like, um, conformed to a situation. It's really overwhelming and it's a lot emotionally, but you really did love someone who um, more represents your past as opposed to who you are now. Who you are now is someone who's more uh, secure with yourself, someone who is trying to be patient with yourself, but you're working on yourself and sometimes you give yourself a hard time. So I feel like this Four of Pentacles is representing you wanting to hold back your heart at times, but that's not going to happen because I feel a lot of people are going to be going on vacations with this group um, or you have definitely somebody who could be from another country, somewhere you're not from that you could be finding love with, especially with this Queen of Pentacles, more Pentacles energy um, Capricorn showing up again. So heavy Capricorn energy in this, uh, in this group. You guys are drawing someone to you. Look at how this looks. You're, you're, you are manif your manifestation is working. Um, it may not be working the way that you think. It may be taking a lot longer group one, but I do feel like you're drawing in an attractive suitor who has money, who has their own, who has some stability. And if you're the queen of pentacles and they're representing king of pentacles energy, that's a true match. So this feels very soulmate to me. This ace of pentacles is letting me know that there's going to be good times had by you both. I feel like you guys are going to share um, resources. Um, this feels like a blessing, especially that ace of pentacles and that uh, ace of cups back to back. Definitely, your manifestation is about to take hold. You guys um, have been through a lot. Five of Cups. A lot of you have been overcoming, all right, these past couple of weeks or months. A lot of you have been in a situation where no matter how heartbroken you are, no matter how hurt you are by someone from your past, you're allowing yourself to still believe that there's something out there for you group one so i feel like this is representing strength this magician is using everything that they have to stay positive and to be thankful and to be gracious because i do feel like you have someone coming in this king of pentacles definitely feels like a soulmate um what's this king of they're definitely, they feel more mature than your past person. They feel more mature. They feel more likable, queen of swords. They feel more serious. Okay, group one, this person feels very serious. Okay. Some of you have a Virgo Libra cusp of a person, Taurus energy with maybe Libra rising or Libra Venus, but I definitely feel like you have somebody who has practical and sort of whimsical personality traits. Um, this person can be very sort of 
I feel like they are family oriented. Something tells me somebody's hesitant about having kids. Someone feels hesitant about having kids. Either you or this person. Um, but what's this Queen of Swords for group one? What's coming in? What's next for their love life? The chariot. Okay. So someone is going to get over their sort of attitude or their mindset of what they feel about having children and having a family and sharing their resources with somebody. I feel like you're going to be connecting to someone who's been single for a really long time. That could also be your energy group. Um, one, you've been single for a really long time. You've been self-sufficient. You don't need anybody. You want someone though to share this all with. Um, there are people who could, you, you could feel like they want you for your money. Like you're trying to keep away people who are users who are just going to try to use you and want your money, that sort of thing. I feel like that's why we have a lot of this earth energy in these pentacles. But what we have at the bottom of the deck, some of you are going to be connecting to a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius here coming in for you. Very hot and passionate. Six of pentacles. This is about give and take. You and this person are going to have to compromise because there could be some differences. I see heavy air, earth sign connections here. All right. Hangman. All right. Pisces energy, but we have a nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. So what you guys are manifesting, what you want is coming in. It's happening. Again, some of you are a little bit not sold yet on the idea of kids or you need some time before you make a decision about sharing your resources, but you're getting there or, or somebody is feeling that way about you or about this situation. That six of pentacles is generosity. This is like a delay, but it's also like surrendering, kind of like, we'll see what happens. You know, I, I don't really want certain things in a relationship, but if this person is commitment, relationship, marriage material, I might change my tone a little bit, right? There's stubbornness here <laughs> from you or this person, group one. There's definitely stubbornness here. What's this higher font? The sun. Yeah, but you guys are going to have a really good time with somebody. Leo showing up again. You're going to have a really good time with someone. They're going to focus a lot on you. All right, you have someone coming in group one who's going to focus a lot on you. You're going to be the center of attention. I feel like you have a workaholic or they are going to be very professional and very serious, but they also, you are like a relief. You're someone they can have a good time with. This 10 of wands, what is this 10 of wands for group one for their situation? What's coming in? Uh, two of wands. Interesting. All right. So we have a 10 of wands and a two of wands. I feel like you guys may clash a little bit. You may both be a little uh, strong willed and headstrong. And there's a lot of willpower here between two people. But we have a queen of cups at the bottom of the deck showing that sometimes that's how people show their feelings for you. That's how sometimes people express that they love you. They give you a hard time or they um, challenge you or you're challenging them or giving them a hard time just to make sure. All right, that they're worthy of you. This two of wands is like, let me test this person and see if they're uh, the one. Ten of cups, I think you'll find a family of your own. So for those of you that uh, were in a three, third party situation or you're loving on someone who is, I feel like there's a big opportunity here for you to have a family of your own with that ten of cups, happiness of your own. Will of Fortune, you've been down for long enough, right? The Will of Fortune lets us know that there's about to be positive changes in your life, that there are about to be things that are going to happen, that you manifest it, and some um, surprises coming in. All right, so let me get some messages from this deck and see what else is coming in for you guys. Let's see. What type of person are you guys running into? <sighs> I'm pretending. Yeah, somebody is going to be very serious and very workaholic-y, but they really want to have something special. They really want a um, love connection. Um, I respect you so much. There's a lot of respect here, especially with that King of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. Those are two very respectable characters. 
you guys are equally, I feel like this is a connection where you'll be equally yoked. All right. Where you'll both have something to bring to the table. Family issues are keeping me from you. That's for those of you connecting to that past person still. And you're either waiting for them to separate themselves from a marriage or a relationship. Um, this person definitely is acknowledging that family issues are still the reason why you guys can't be together or haven't been together. All right. Um, let's start over. All right. For those of you with that past person, that's what's coming in. You have someone who wants to start over, who is acknowledging that their family issues are keeping you apart. They don't want to do third party. All right. They don't want to do third party. A lot of you have closed yourself off to this person as much as you wanted them. You, I feel like a lot of you got tired of waiting for them and you eventually closed yourself off to them. Um, so they're ready to start over. We have a lot of aces so that a new beginning is a start. I need to talk to you is even more of a start. This uh, queen of swords can represent communication as well. That could be the thing that sort of accelerates the progress of this connection right here, whether it's a new person coming in or um, an ex or someone you had already been connecting to. I feel like that person has a lot of baggage. I don't feel like it's you, group one. I feel like it's the person you're connecting to. Let me get one more. What's coming in for group one? Your strength inspires me, right? We saw that, um, or I saw that strength at the bottom of the deck um, for the overwhelming situation that a lot of you guys were in that was taking a lot out of you. I feel like this is what I mean when I say I'm dealing with two wolf, uh, strong will people, lots of, um, lots of resistance at times. It's a, at times it's a way that you both sort of challenge each other and figure out what the other's true motives are. So I feel like you're both very mature. Um, one person does feel like they have baggage. I feel like this could be a fun relationship. Um, Somebody just wants to have fun, right? They're not concerned about a family situation. They're they're kind of tired of it themselves and they're looking for some excitement. So um so yeah, so that's what I have for you group 1 for what's next in your love life. I hope that resonates with you guys and I will talk to you soon. Hello, group two. It is the Sun Sage, and I'm back to do you guys' this reading. What's next in your love life? So we're going to take a look and see what's coming in. You guys chose the Game of Thrones tarot with the Moss Agate or Moss Agate Stone Crystal. So we're going to take a look and see what's coming in for you guys. I just want to make sure everything is um, upright and not reverse. Good. All right. So lots of people want to know how their summer is going to be. And what's coming in for their connection or if you are wanting a connection if you're wanting to meet someone new this can give us some insight on what's coming in for you group two All right. so what's coming in for group two what's next in their love life what's next in group two's love life yes the star um group one started with this very same thing in their deck so we have the star we have the two of spears or two of wands energy. What do we have for group two? Five of swords. Group two, what do we have? Seven of coins or seven of pentacles. All right, five of spears or five of wands energy. What else do we have for group two? What's coming in? We have two, we have the four of swords. And the Eight of Cups, all right, what's coming in next for group two? The Sun, nice. You have the Sun and the Star, so those are good vibes. Nine of Swords, and we also have King of Coins coming out in reverse. I'm going to flip it, but I'll talk about the King of Coins in reverse when we get to them. 
Um, I feel like you guys have a mix of things coming in. You have a mix. So I feel like you guys have somebody you're going to have to make the uh, make a decision about whether you want to be patient for them or and, and have hope for them or whether you feel like it's best to let it go. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be dealing with somebody who does pull at your heartstrings, who you do feel destined to be with, fated to be with. Um, but there's a lot of indecision here. There's a lot of uh, lack of movement, sort of feeling like you haven't come far enough as far as you think you should have come in this connection with this person. For some of you with this five of wands, there could be like arguments or something like that. So I'm going to get energy on each of these. What's going on with this star for group two? What's coming in for their love life for group two? Temperance wanted to come out in reverse as well. So a lot of you, there's somebody that you really, 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 really want. But it's just not working out or so far it hasn't worked out, right? So the temperance can be a sign and so can the star that there's healing here. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done or there's a lot of healing going on right now. Um, you guys could be dealing with someone who has sabotage tendencies. When they have something good, they do everything they can to ruin it, right? And I feel like you guys are at times ready to walk away with this Eight of Cups energy. But I feel like the star and temperance are telling me that you do want a brand new beginning with this person. You want it to work so bad. Some of you wish it will work with this person. You actually wish for it. You manifest it. You hope for it. You pray for it. Right. This is somebody that you want to get along with, somebody you ultimately see yourself with. But we don't have a lot of court cards here. Right. So I feel like neither one of you are really showing up as your true selves. That could be a sign that you're both fearful to be your true self for each other um, because neither of you wants to get hurt. Group two, you may have more cause to feel like this person is going to hurt you because they are giving off sort of inconsistent vibes. So with this two of spears, what we have is somebody who can be kind of satisfied with how things are. Not really satisfied, not, not really um, working to improve things. You could be dealing with somebody who you want so much more for, but they don't see it. All right. They're not seeing the vision the same way that you see it. What's this two of spears? Well, Okay. Yep. Ace of Swords is always my message that that whatever I just said was the truth is representing that this is an honest um, uh, interpretation of this message. I feel like this person doesn't see what you see this relationship could be. All right. Some of you are in between moving on and sticking it out. All right, plain and simple. Some of you are ready to move on. So what could be coming in? Because I don't really see any final decision here. What could be coming in is kind of like the same sort of vibe that you guys have been in with this person where it's like back and forth. There's tumultuous energy, but there's also a sense of comfort here. This two of spears and ace of swords is telling me that there's something that needs to be revealed, right? Some of you feel like um, the fool. Some of you want to be the ones to... This relationship has runner chaser energy. You're always the one trying to convince this person that your love is pure. Your love for them is genuine. And I feel like it's time for this person to do some work group two. So I feel like what's coming in is you're going to have an honest conversation with yourself about what a new beginning really means, right? Does it just mean more of the same or is there opportunity for change? You guys ultimately want to heal this relationship and you want it to be better than it is. And um, some of you feel like um, you've been giving too much to this person and you need them to do some work. So I feel like what's coming in for you guys, like I said, is that honest conversation with yourself Five of Swords, that may involve you doing what's best for you. You've been through enough. You feel defeated at times with this person. No matter how much you give, they're not satisfied. They don't see you guys um, having a long future together. They don't even see a lot for themselves, right? So it's very difficult to plan a future with somebody like that. But 
I feel like you guys, if you put pressure on this person, five of swords, um, clarified by this two of cups, if you put pressure on this person, they'll have no choice but to sort of make a choice of what they want out of this. And I feel like a lot of them want the same thing that you want. A lot of them want this fulfilling love. You guys want to extend your cups of love to each other. I don't feel like there's been a lot of emotional expression to each other. I feel like there's been a lot of sort of... um behaviors that are coming out in the form of jealousy, bitterness, arguing, um, anger. I just feel like there are lots of things that are coming in the way of what this relationship could truly be. What's this two of cups with this five of swords? What's this two of cups? The three of spears. So this is like that vision coming to fruition there has to be a tower moment coming in for this connection right or um a tower moment happening in this situation i feel like this two of cups is letting us know okay this isn't all arguing and getting on each other's nerves and not being able to figure out what someone wants this is about there's actually some hope here some positivity here we even saw that with the star and temperance in this connection you see your future with them, right? Some of you, your friends don't like them. Your family don't like them. You get like people say, you know, things about this person to you that you take personally. And I feel like you just want, you just want this person to be something that they may not be ready to be yet, right? They may not be ready. Seven of Pentacles. What's the seven of coins here? Okay, so yeah, four coins and this one flipped out to four of cups. So I was about to say, um, some of you have must lower your expectations for this person. Some of you have to lower your expectations because they're not recognizing love as you are giving it, right? And as they are not receiving it the way you are giving it in a pure sense. This person is still very selfish. That's either coming in or that's here that you're trying to make things work with group two. They're very selfish still. So I feel like they need a little bit of pressure on them, especially with this five of wands, some pushback from you. Um, because this four of cups tells me that this person has been rejecting all of your sincere gestures of love all of your sincere um opportunities that you've given to this person these uh second chances that you've given to them this person could use a little bit of pressure with this five of wands um they feel very selfish and a little immature they make foolish decisions um six of coins this feels like pressure. If you put pressure on this person, you can get what you want. Six of pentacles, six of coins. You can get what you want. Four of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's not that they don't have feelings. We see with the two of cups and the star, there's a lesson here. There's something that's meant to be here. But I feel like your person, um, they feel like a taker. They're a taker. They don't really reciprocate. What's the six of coins for group two? They feel like a taker, king of swords, who doesn't give you the love and the affection, the kisses, the, the holding you that you need. This person really has um a tendency to shut you out of their life. Like we have king of swords, four of cups. Like they really do this rejection thing. Um to the point of, to the extreme, right? Um, this person comes off as very emotionally closed off, very emotionally distant. Some of you feel like they only care about money. Four of coins, four of cups. They only care about money. They only care about themselves. And I feel like there's some truth to that Aquarius energy showing up again here with that King of Swords. Um, they feel like a taker. They feel like a taker. There's a, <laughs> there's a really sweet, gentle person. Let me make sure. What's this king of swords? I feel sweet and tender somewhere. That's too many. What's this king of swords? Um, two of coins. There's a really sweet, tender person underneath this exterior. They're not being themselves with the seven of swords by 
by hiding all of this affection from you. They're not being themselves. Two of coins juggling. They have a tendency to people please or to um, need to feel validated by multiple people. So they're never really satisfied. They're not, that's the problem. They're not satisfied with what you're giving because for them, nothing is ever enough. They need more attention. They need more validation. And so that's why they cut you off and they close themselves off to you and give off this cold exterior and don't let you see their inside because this person still wants to, um, they could have player ways, right? This uh, coin says a Lannister always pays his debts. So this person feels like they owe something to more than just you. Um, they need something. Uh, they're very needy and then they try to act like they're not, right? They try to act like you're not good enough. The love you give isn't good enough. The attention isn't good enough. But something tells me they're addicted to you. They're addicted to the way that you love because it's not as pure when they get it from other people. So what's coming in for you is you truly facing who this person is. And yes, they are as uh, closed off as you have been knowing they are. Um, for a sword, sort of checked out energy. Um, it's almost like you need to give this relationship a break, right? Give this situation a break. We have a four of swords with the eight of cups coming in. So that's what could be coming in a break. Again, I feel like that's pressure that brings out this sun energy. Something good will come in once you do that. This person is not going to take too kindly to you taking your attention away from them. They need um, tough love over here. What's this four of swords? What's coming in? The emperor. All right. This is you, I feel. So for a lot of you, um, this is representing that, yes, this is a divine masculine person you're connected to. I, I don't feel like they are not ready because they are not divine masculines or divine uh, counterparts. I feel like they're not ready because they're selfish and they like to... I'm not even getting third party. Let me see what else is out there. I want to play around with people first. I'm getting that this person really likes to be in control of their situations. And by um, sort of uh, giving into their feelings, they lose that control. Um, this emperor tells me Aries showing up too. All right. For those of you who are Aries. Um, taking control of this situation is going to be very important. Even if you're not an Aries, taking on this emperor energy um, is this person needs some guidance and leadership. They think that they know everything. They're a know-it-all. You're dealing with a know-it-all. And some of you have to take your take your attention away from them with this eight of cups. Um, what's this uh, eight of cups here for group two for what's coming in? Page of swords. Devil at the bottom of the deck. All right. And then I just say they were addicted. They're still, they try to act like they're not, but they're addicted to you. Um, this person was coming in with them, group two, eight of cups, page of swords. You're going to, I feel like you're going to find out something about them when you walk away, when you distance yourself. What is a uh, group two? What can they find out about them? What is this about this page of swords, ace of spears, how passionate they are. That's what's missing passion. All right. Um, even if you've been intimate with this person, you feel like something is lacking. You don't have a five of pentacles, but I feel like this person has a tendency to give a very cold, rigid form of love, kind of like they tough love you. And so you need to tough love them. Um, this Ace of Spears is the revelation that they have a lot more passion for you than they've been letting on, right? I, I do feel like they're very addicted to you. They're addicted to your positive energy. And quite frankly, this could be a connection between an empath and a narcissist, okay? Um, empath, narcissist energy showing up here. What is this sun? All right. What is this sun, Leo energy? Uh, high Priestess. Pisces, Leo. So I feel like this person definitely has 
some secrets, right? Some, some tricks up their sleeve that you may not be aware of and why they behave the way that they do. So what's coming in, I feel is some need to pull things out of this person. Sometimes resisting them is the best way to get that out because it puts pressure on them. What's this high priestess with this sun, the moon? Yeah, they got some secrets. They have some secrets. Two of swords at the bottom of the deck. This feels like the universe saying, pause group two. There are some things you don't know about this person yet that is coming in or what's coming in. And I feel like it's going to come out within the next couple of weeks. Um, the moon and the high priestess, both Pisces energies telling us again that this person has a lot more going on with this sun than they are letting on. They're keeping a lot to themselves. Let me see if I can find out what their secret is or what their secrets are. <laughs> what is, let's see. There we have tender. Will of fortune, king of cups. This is what they're hiding. And look how many cards it took to get to that right sun high priestess moon what are they hiding once you or they get comfortable with you they reveal themselves to be one of the most warm warmest loving caring gentle people with this king of cups compassionate understanding people ever a lot of you have not yet seen that side of them the Will of Fortune says that that is about to change. So that's what's coming in here. This person has been giving off that they are hardened. Um, this tells me that your person could have maybe a Pisces in their past who let's see. Yeah, I feel Pisces in their past. Pisces are so easy. Um, they are very intuitive. And so their energy is easy to pick up on. We have Scorpio here too. Um, I feel like there's a Pisces in their past that they're still not over with. I mean, still not over. Still not over what happened with that. For some of you, this person is a Scorpio, Aries very dominant authoritative energy um saturn a lot of saturn father authority energy here with with your person and i feel like a lot of you need to flip the script on this person and that's what's coming in this nine of swords all right this is unfounded fear i feel like your person has a fear of opening up because they're afraid they'll get taken advantage of and so what they do is they distract themselves with work and with money and with superficial things. And um, I feel like they want to work to not be this way. All right. Um, I feel like they have a fear that if they give their all to someone, ten of swords, it'll be a waste of their time. They would have done all of that labor for nothing. Someone in the past showed them that or what they interpreted from a love experience from the past was that it was a waste of time to give your heart, to speak your truth, to be affectionate and sensitive with someone because all they're going to do is hurt you, right? So this person needs, um, they have a lot of pressure on them, their own sort of past things and, and traumas and triggers. And I feel like a lot of what they've been doing is projecting those things onto you. Um, this king of coins is Taurus. And we have a lot of masculine energy here. All right, last, we have a king of swords, king of, uh, of cups, um, king of coins, emperor. Lots of kings here. This person is divine. They're just broken. Very broken, okay? <sighs> Healing. That is why the emphasis has been on healing here with this star and this temperance for what's coming in in your love life. Um, this person could need professional help. Ace of Cups. Yes, they could use compassion and love, but they have also sort of turned a blind eye to those things and found uh, validation in working and making a lot of money, hierophant. They, they are very traditional, right? And then there's this five of pentacles, this lack mentality or five of coins in this deck. 
lots of earth energy here, um, similar to group one, but the king of coins and the hierophant Taurus energy showing up together, strong sort of traditional energy. Um, they may believe in gender roles, right? So if you're too independent and you're a feminine or you take care of things and you get things handled, they may not like that, right? And you, what can you do about that? You can't just not <laughs> be independent and self-sufficient. There's a ton of masculine energy here and not a lot of feminine energy. So this person feels like the reason why they can't open up a little bit possibly is because you are far too independent and they are far, they are super sort of dated in how they feel about um, relationships. Let's just hire font with this king of uh, pentacles or king of coins, the knight of spears. All right. They need to lighten up. I feel like what's coming in is somebody who is going to They have a lot going on with them. They feel like they can be exciting group too. I feel like this person can be exciting and giving and loving. But there's a ton of masculine energy here. And I just feel like this person is very ego centered. What is this Knight of Swords? I mean, this Knight of Spears. It's judgment. <laughs> Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're kind of satisfied being in a position of power, even if it means suppressing their feelings and sort of forcing you to have to suppress yours and not be able to be your soft, loving, gentle self because they're not reciprocating that energy. So what's coming in is judgment. Okay, a decision has to be made here because your person is way too comfortable to make any changes. I feel like the change that's mostly coming in and that's mostly gonna yield a good result are gonna be from the people who put pressure on this person, kind of like forcing them to change, forcing them to acknowledge that they have maybe not treated you right or given you what they should have, reciprocated the way that they should have. What's coming in for group two? We have, I choose you. All right. I feel like that's a lot of you wanting to work with this person. I mean, I can see why they could make you feel protected, right? They could have this demeanor about them that's very sexy and authoritative. And you see them being a great husband and a great father or a great partner. And you just want this person in your life because you know there's a lot underneath. Um, on the flip side, they could be choosing you. But like I said, they have some serious sort of gender role twisted issues about independent feminine energies we need this time apart so i feel like you guys are going to take time apart um where did i see that i mean i feel like if you guys are putting pressure on them that time apart is going to come that distance that needing a break right here with the four of swords um it's valuable I feel like they they won't know what they have until it's gone. They need to lose the comfort that they feel with you in order to appreciate it, right? That's this type of person. You make me feel like the luckiest person in the world. We do have the will of fortune indicating that this person feels lucky to have you. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, they wish you were more submissive. So judgment lets me know that you guys are going to have to put your foot down make a judgment call here in this connection. What else do we have? I'm happiest when I'm with you. See, they're the type of person where you don't know if they're happy because they don't show and they don't reciprocate. They don't give you what you need. Depression. Depression is kicking my ass. Your person, group two, is trying to hold it all together. And I feel like what could be coming in is not so much a confession about their emotional struggles or their past, that uh, the moon is very irritable, temperamental energy. They can be very temperamental, very bad temper, sort of um, sometimes even emotionally abusive with you. So I feel like this person has a lot to make you aware of depression like they're happiest when they're with you that tells me they're not happy with anyone else or doing anything else even if they're making it seem like they are 
and we have, I haven't been honest with you. What did we see with that high priestess and the moon? This is just confirmation, right? This person hasn't been honest with you about their feelings. They haven't been honest with you about their past. They haven't been honest with you about their intentions. And I feel like a lot of them just can't say, I don't like to be chased. I like to do the chasing. Or for those of you who are like, I'm not chasing this person. I subscribe to gender roles. I want to pursue you on my time. Okay, that's that ego. And a part of it too is the mental struggles that this person has. Like we saw with that seven of swords, those mental burdens that this person deals with. All right. So what could be coming in is a definitive decision from you, group two, on whether to stay or to move forward from this connection. But I feel like a lot of you, judgment and soulmate, a lot of you are going to give indications that you still believe in this connection and that soon, even if it's not right now, it'll come together. All right. So that is what I have for you, group two. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if that resonated. And I will talk to you guys soon. Group three, it is the Sun Sage back to do you guys' reading. What's next in your love life? So I feel like everybody's sort of um, in the collective anxious about what's coming in, especially in this new month and we have all these moon energies. What's about to change or what's about to stay the same or what's coming in or what's leaving? So you guys chose the Amethyst, all right? So you can uh, look that up and see why you may have been drawn to that and... um we are going to, I just want to make sure everything's upright because I had some reversals in the other decks. But um, yeah, we're going to take a look and see what's coming in for you in the love department. All right. So group three, this could be for those of you in a connection already or those of you wanting to connect with someone Ready for some excitement this summer, ready for some passion, some intimacy. What's coming in? Okay, that wanted to come out, but it didn't. So what's coming in for group three? What's, what's next for group three in their love life? Um, the six of wands, getting the person you want, perhaps. All right, what's next for group three in their love life? Ace of Cups, confirmed, getting the person you want. Um, winning that person's heart, two of swords. All right, we're going to see what's been blocking. Ace of Swords, nothing. <laughs> you broke free from those blockages. Um, justice, yes. Finally feeling like you're getting what you deserve, and it feels good. What else do we have coming in for Group 3? Page of Cups. All right. Uh, Will of Fortune, nice. All right, group three, what's coming in for your love life? The page of swords. Okay, two pages here. We got to see what's going on. The lovers, very nice. And what else do we have for group three for what's coming in? Eight of wands. So you guys are about to see a lot of action and changes in your love life. Ten of coins, perhaps with somebody who you can have a solid foundation with, right? This isn't going to be some sort of summer fling type situation. This isn't about to be some sort of... um let's just kick it. Let's Netflix and chill. This is somebody who definitely has um, family vibes attached to them. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. And I feel like you want those things and I and, and it's coming to fruition. That's what it feels like with the six of wands. You, you're feeling victorious, right? That's what's coming in. You're feeling like you picked the winner, like you've got these winning vibes surrounding you, like you have been through a lot. And you've, um, for a lot of you, you were in a situation with somebody who was really sought after and they still chose you. So you're feeling really sort of, um, confident right now in yourself with the six of wands. Yeah. Four of cups. So somebody was rejecting somebody because they wanted their ace of cups, right? But it feels like this person kept you on the back burner for some time. So that's why this feels like such a victory because it feels like you're finally getting the person you want after being treated like this with this four of cups, after this person sort of dismissing your feelings or 
making it seem like they didn't know how you felt and making it seem like they didn't feel the same way. This person may have been super social and giving into um, third party situations or just having a lot of fun and not ready to settle down or wanting to settle down, but not really knowing how we do have some pages here. So I feel like you guys are connecting to somebody that you've been slowly working on and I feel like it's coming to fruition, right? No more rejection, no more missed opportunities with this four of cups. You guys have reined this person in, okay? Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like there's some passionate intimacy coming in. I want to get another on this Four of Cups for Group 3. What's coming in? Their love life. Yes, some of you will be getting married this summer. Some of you will be getting engaged. But like I said, with that Ten of Coins, this is just a long-lasting connection. This isn't, this is, this is for the long haul. This is pretty much for the long haul. This is a good forecast for you guys with the sun. This says that positivity and flourishing in this relationship are what's coming in. There are lots of good um, energy surrounding this connection. Someone could be going to someone's home soon or there's invitations to a home or feeling at home with this person. So the four of wands is like twin flame energies. We also have the lovers here in the ace of cups. So you guys are, I feel a lot of you are finally committing to your person or your person is finally committing to you. All right. So what do we have for this ace of cups? All right. This love feels new and fresh and good. All right. Very refreshing. Three of cups, lots of good times coming in for you guys. I feel like this person they don't have fun the way they have fun with you, right? Like I said, if you're dealing with somebody that's really social, a big part of me feels like they didn't want to give up their social life, but now they are ready, all right? Mainly because they realize they can have that same thing with you. And look, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups gives us, again, that Four of Cups vibes, right? Feeling like this person was not really seeing your cup of love, seeing like they were too distracted and up to other things, too engrossed in like silly things or childish things to pay attention to this, this deep connection. But I feel like they definitely are paying attention to this deep connection. You guys are reuniting. And this, if it happens during retrograde, a lot of you may question the, the motives, but the Ace of Cups tells me this is a sincere reuniting. Right. Of course, this person may want to be intimate with you and all of those things. Some of you are celibate. You're not going there with them. You just want to see if they really want you and want to build with you. But I do feel like a lot of you are going to come back together with this person. That's what's coming in. You've been expecting this for a really long time. All right, so your expectations are super high with this three of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're both excited to see each other. Two of swords, there's been a wait. There's been a delay here. All right, so this connection was delayed from coming together. <laughs> Eight of Cups, you walked away or they gave up or something happened where you both were not willing to give more of yourselves the full, let's be done with all that. Let's start over. Let's try this again and let's do it the right way, right? Aquarius energy, um, but more on this Two of Swords, Eight of Cups. Somebody felt like they didn't have any more emotionally to give, so what's coming in, I feel, is a crossroads or you're at that crossroads now, group three, where you're like, yes, I didn't want to give any more to this situation. However, I feel like this is my person. I'm not sure I'm ready to give up on this yet. What's this eight of cups? Mm -hmm. Page of coins, new beginnings. All right. You feel like there's still a lot more here. A lot more, uh, there's a lot more here. Okay. Again, this isn't like something that is going to be one night stand fling. Like this is, this is something that could have some solid roots with it, right? With this page of coins, because we're getting pages, I feel like a lot of you are having to educate your person on how to love you. I think they are enamored with you. We have a page of cups here. I think they feel like you're a good influence in their life. Lovers, beauty and the beast energy here. 
So I feel like this person recognizes you as a special um, divine partner for them. Um, these blockages are, are being cut. You're being cut free from these. Whatever was holding you back, whatever was holding this connection back, you're breaking free from that. You guys are about to have this uh, breakthrough. That's what the Ace of Swords can be, the, a breakthrough. What's this breakthrough for what's coming in for group three in their love life? Yes, High Priestess, a breakthrough about your intuition. Like I said, with that Eight of Cups, you were like, eh, I feel emotionally depleted. I don't know if I have any more to give, but Seven of Wands, I'm going to fight for what I've already built with this person. Do they piss me off sometimes? Do they make me want to turn away from them? Eight of Cups, sure. But this is something I'm willing to fight for. My heart, my gut is telling me there's something special here, High Priestess. So you're following your intuition. A lot of you have been advised by others to possibly leave them alone. But you guys don't see it like that. You see like there's something really important here with this page of coins. There's an important lesson. There's an important important purpose that you guys are supposed to serve together. And so you're not giving up. I feel like a lot of you guys are also keeping your relationship kind of protected and quiet. That's what's coming in. Um, I feel like it's very sacred to you. It's something that you don't want influenced by outside people. So you're going to try to protect it as much as you can. Justice, Libra energy. We have Pisces with this high priestess as well. What's this justice? Feeling like you're finally getting what you deserve, right? Um, the moon. Okay, more of that privacy and that secrecy. Some of you have learned a very harsh lesson that not keeping something private or not keeping a relationship private can open it up to curious people wanting to know more, wanting to see what you... I, I feel like there's a lot of spectators. What's this moon? Uh, Pisces energy again. Some of you have a Pisces. Some of you are Pisces. Six of cups. Some, okay, so this feels like, <laughs> this feels like you got some nosy people around you. Who's that person I see group three with? Or who's that person that group three, who's group three with? Like, what what's going on with group three? I know they have somebody, right? This is somebody trying to reveal your secrets or trying to figure out what's going on with you and your love life. I feel like this justice is representing, um, the sense of balance that you feel um, when you do keep things to yourself. Um, but I do feel like there are people here who are trying to sort of dissect what this connection is. It could feel very, um, it could feel very like sneaky to them or maybe you're connecting to somebody who's involved with someone else like they're there it feels this feels like judgment right but you're really dealing with a soulmate <laughs> and some of you i feel you haven't even told people that you've met your soulmate or that you feel like this person is your soulmate because you don't even want to hear what they have to say so you're trying to protect this so what's coming in page of cups good communication um love messages what's this page of cups Pisces energy again here. Um, Knight of Cups. <laughs> Pisces energy. Um, yeah, you guys are dealing with a romantic or somebody who's very smitten and enamored with you, right? They're showing up as pages and knights, but they want to take those big grown up, grown woman, grown man steps with you. I feel like this person coming in or this person um, is starting to treat you the way you feel like you deserve to be treated. All right. I feel like there's going to be some romantic times coming up. Group three, I feel like there's going to be some some gentle conversations, some feeling of warmth and comfort with this person. I feel like they want to make you feel special and comforted. All right. The will of fortune, again, feeling like you deserve this. Finally, you're getting what you deserve, what you've been wanting. What's this will of fortune for group three for what's coming in? Uh, four of coins. You're holding on to this. You got something good. The sun at the bottom of the deck. Will of fortune. Look at this will of fortune and the four of coins. This person hiding or holding on to their fortune. You are not revealing too soon what's going on in your connection. It's way too important to you. And that could also be your person too. Um, for some of you, 
because we started with this six of a six of wands, which could be recognition and acknowledgement, some of you could be revealing that you're engaged to this person out of nowhere. Or some of you could be revealing that you are with this person. The sun can sometimes be an announcement, um, a revelation of something, some news. You're letting people know that this is your person, but you're not letting them know too much. Right. So this is one of those connections where you guys may post a picture, but it's not too suggest, too suggest, too, too suggested, too suggested. If you guys aren't doing too much or you just post, you peaking people's interest. That's what I get. There's something about this pair where you're peaking people's interest. Um, yeah, but you're holding back a lot in this connection. What's the four of coins? Cause you don't want people to mess it up. Two of wands. All right, you're not decided yet. So for a lot of you, what's coming in is the energy of the reason why I won't talk about this is because I'm not yet sure what's going to happen with us. I have high hopes for this. I f it feels good. It feels wonderful. But I need to see where this goes before I start announcing it to the world, right? You're there. There are people around with their opinions, page of swords, right? So you guys got some opinionated people around checking for your situation, trying to see what's going on, spying on you guys. Uh, the star, there could be an air sign here from your past that, um, hmm. So you guys could have somebody from your past with this page of swords and this star sort of analyzing this relationship from afar, trying to see if it's real. They could be trying to manifest you back into their life and you're trying to move on. They don't know if you're single. A lot of you are very wanted by people. You're a mystery to people. Okay, group three. So you have some suitors, some people who want to know more about you, some people who are fantasizing about you, but you want this one person. I feel like this Aquarius with this page of swords Again, feels like somebody possibly from your past still wanting things to work between you two, but there's some inkling. I feel like people are starting to realize lovers, you got somebody. Um, outside of that star message, page of swords, the star, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to start to see that this person you're that's coming in or this person you're connecting to is genuine. Right. You needed more information. You needed to make sure they were real. The star is telling you that your skepticism may have come from unhealed energies and triggers and things. And so you weren't believing that this person could be so good to be true or they weren't believing that about you. But the star is allowing yourself to heal and to have that hope um, without any strings attached. Right. So the lovers, Gemini energy um twin flame you guys are definitely coming into union in um in the next couple of weeks or months uh yeah soulmate confirmed the world confirmed mission complete group three all right mission complete in this relationship <sighs> they put you through some tests okay they put you through some tests i feel like this person needed to make sure you were genuine a part of you needed to make sure they were genuine you guys walked away from each other you guys left each other alone and you still keep coming back to one another right i'm gonna get another one on this lovers and judgment this is soulmate this is kind of an ideal love nine of swords you don't some someone doesn't believe it the sun again at the bottom of the deck there's a leo here your energy is very strong um, I feel like this person, Scorpio energy too. Who else do we have? All right. Yeah. So I feel like this person um, can be a kind of a doubter. All right. They have fear that if they have something so special, so, something so so sacred that it can be taken from them or something. I think they fear something bad will happen to your relationship with them that could be you too it feels like your person look how the masculine energy sort of has this family right here and there's this person we don't really know what's going on but it's almost like they fear their family could be taken from them even though their family's right there so 
it feels like your person is afraid of losing you with this nine of swords with this uh judgment hierophant all right your person needs to feel secure all the time they need to feel warmth and passion and love they need to feel that you love them and that you desire them. They need to feel desired. Group three, you guys are like that too, Taurus energy. Something about this person's past where something important was taken from them. So they always fear that I'm building another special connection, another special bond with group three. I cannot handle it if we break up or if someone cheats, I can't go through this again. Group three, that could be you guys as well. Commitment is very important to both of you, I feel. All right. So eight of wands, this is that action coming in, that excitement. For some of you, this is happening now. This person is very exciting right now. All right. Three of swords. Let me see what's this three of swords. Um, the emperor. You're dealing with somebody whose feelings can be easily hurt. All right. Three of Swords, Emperor Energy with this Eight of Wands. I feel like your person, um, they they have they can like to move fast, but they look at moving fast as a way to get hurt easier. So then they try to like put on their strong, like, okay, I need to chill out, right? So you're dealing with somebody who moves really fast and it feels really exciting, and then they do something stupid, like pull back and, and it hurts the connection just so they can regain control of themselves. So I feel like this is going to be a pattern in this connection. This person always has to maintain some sense of control. They've already lost their heart to you. Group three, they've already lost their heart to you. <laughs> some of them have already changed their beastly ways for you. So they still like to keep a little bit of edge there. Um, for some of you, that means this person doing stupid stuff occasionally um, doesn't even make any sense. But that three of swords tells me that this person still has like some aspects of their personality where they can say harsh things or do things that make you feel unloved by them. All right. But the emperor also is confirming that uh, divine masculine, divine counterpart energy. So a lot of you confirmed this a long time ago that this was your person. You felt it in your heart and soul. And so I feel like what's coming in for you guys is just that being solidified in some way. All right. So let's get some more energies for what's coming in for group three in love. What's coming in for group three? I'm still not sure. That is this two of wands that we saw. Right. This is why you don't want to be. I feel like this is you still not wanting to be super open about your connection. I got to see where this goes before I start bringing this person to my family and my kids and things like that. It's like you're sure, but you're not. And if you chose this deck, you know exactly what I mean. It's like deep down inside, you know, this is your person. That is your truth, Ace of Swords. You figured this out a long time ago. You've gotten clarity on this. You've gotten your synchronicities, your confirmation, but this person's behavior is sometimes a little erratic, right? Again, they do stupid stuff sometimes. Um, so it feels, it sometimes feels very wishy-washy with them. I'm happiest when I'm with you. I feel like this is your person. That's why I see a lot of home energy. You guys are going to be spending a lot of time together with someone, group three, what else do we have? You consume my thoughts. All right. So this person wants you to know you consume their thoughts. I feel like you both manifested each other, but I feel like this person really um, sort of put the vibration out there that they want it to be manifested by you. Um, when it comes to leading this connection, your person has failed. Okay, group three, three of swords, emperor. When it comes to taking action, your person has let you down plenty of times with this eight of wands. So what's happening is this cycle is repeating itself. All right, they're taking action or they're about to. You're going to see some, some, uh, some excitement. And it's like this person has to really start living their reality with you because they already think about you all the time in their heads. Um... 
they have to stop being so afraid of the reality of commitment, right? Your smile lights them up. Lots of uh, positive energy coming from you. And this person feels that. They feel welcome into your life. We will be together soon. Okay, so that's what's coming in for you guys. Your person is acknowledging that you guys will be together soon. They can't wait. Somebody is going to someone's home. By the end of the summer, someone will be engaged. Someone will be married. Um, you guys are keeping this um, to yourselves for now. Like this is your soulmate. You don't need other people's opinions or judgments about this. What else do we have? I know you love me. All right. So this is confirmation that this person is very aware of the feelings that you have for them. You guys are also aware of the feelings that they have for you. Even if they have to be stoic sometimes and pretend like they don't have their these feelings. They're very... <sighs> They're very sexy and they are very, um, I think sometimes you guys may be attracted by the fact that they uh, don't get so emotional sometimes. That may be attractive to you for those of you that resonates for, but you definitely have a serious person here who is feeling this relationship vibe with you and acknowledging that, that you are the person that they want to be with. All right, group three. So that is what I have for you guys for what's next in love. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.